Aziz Sergeyevich Shaveshian, better known by his internet handle Ziz, was a Russian-born Australian bodybuilder, personal trainer and model. He was somewhat of an early social media internet sensation, gaining fame drawn from sympathy, the tale of a skinny kid bullied at school who built himself up to fame and fortune. But no sooner as there was seemingly some happiness, success and achievement in this young man's life, he died out of the blue at the extremely young age of 22. So what exactly happened? Hi, welcome back to Oxford Medical Summaries. My my name is Dr. Aziz, I'm a physician based in the UK and in this quick video we'll be looking at what we have of Ziz's autopsy report and try to figure out how and why he died and was it preventable at all. Before we get to his death report, as always some key questions need to be asked. Did Ziv have a pre-existing condition? Was it genetic? Now I've read in some places on the internet that apparently he had a family history of heart problems but again no specific details. Now there's a difference between someone's grandparents having coronary artery disease for example as they age and a family history of early heart disease the latter of which would point more towards there being a genetic component if anyone has more details regarding this then please do post below now in this article it says his mother maria said a post-mortem examination revealed that her youngest son i.e ziz suffered from an undiagnosed heart condition which triggered cardiac arrest now undiagnosed doesn't necessarily mean it was genetic it just means, as the name says, it was undiagnosed. But of course, he was only 22, a very unusual age to have a heart condition, which leads us on to the next question. Was Ziz using illegal substances? I think it's pretty well established by now that Ziz was taking multiple illegal substances. Apparently, he openly admitted to such on forums such as bodybuilding.com. And there's quite a revealing quote from his own brother alluding to this and the connection to Ziz's passing, which I'll mention later on towards the end of this video. There's also a quote from a fellow bodybuilding friend of Ziz who mentioned that he had asked Ziz to slow down on his steroid use just days before his death. It says here in this article, he, Ziz, was on holiday when he met another bodybuilder, Tim Sharkey Ward, just months after his brother, i.e. Ziz's brother, Saeed Chespra, was found guilty of steroid possession back in Australia. Mr. Ward later spoke to media saying he had urged Mr. Shavashian, i.e. Ziz, to slow down on steroid use just days before his death. Ward is quoted in other places on the internet as saying, RIP Ziz, this is a warning for any of you boys coming to Thailand. Thailand is a country with it all girls steroids growth hormone it's all here and it's all cheap i spoke to him ziz the other day and he looked like a kid in a candy shop it's a real shame in my opinion because his physique especially as young age with testosterone and all the naturally anabolic hormones going through the roof was in my opinion achievable naturally or at least very close to so let's come on to what we have of ziz's autopsy or medical report apparently from Thailand. So it says here, Ziz was brought from a spa service in Bangkok to the hospital by an ambulance. A hospital medical team attempted to resuscitate Ziz, but were unsuccessful. It then goes on to say an autopsy was performed and cause of death was an enlarged heart and sudden cardiopulmonary failure. So that's all we have, but again, what we are seeing here, as we have seen with other bodybuilders and wrestlers on this channel, the consequences of using anabolic steroids, growth hormones and other illegal substances which can lead to an enlarged heart. As mentioned, this can be a consequence of steroid use. The heart enlargens, there is subsequently scar tissue and this enlarged heart puts a person at great risk of an arrhythmia or dysrhythmia, which means an abnormal electrical conduction and sudden cardiac arrest which is what I believe happened. Remember, there is continual electrical activity in your heart from the moment you are born until the moment you die. Any disruption in this electrical activity, which having an enlarged heart puts you at risk of, can result in sudden cardiac arrest, i.e. death. So what we are seeing here is a clear pattern. Remember, a man's heart should not weigh more than 450 grams. Randy Savage's heart was significantly enlarged at 610 grams. It states here, cardiomegaly, which basically means enlarged heart. Cardia, the Greek word for heart, mega, also from Greek meaning extremely huge. Ultimate Warrior's heart was even larger at 650 grams. And we have mentioned here in British Bulldog's autopsy that his heart was enlarged. So, and again, here, in Ziz's medical report, we again see an enlarged heart. So could it be genetic? Maybe. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, an inherited form of enlarged heart, is a possibility. Maybe there's more info that's not been disclosed regarding his family history. Apparently Ziz also had high blood pressure and breathing difficulties in the months leading up to his death. This is very unusual in a man of his age, but also in keeping with the diagnosis of congestive heart failure, a consequence of illegal substance use, and a key feature of which is an enlarged heart. So again, like Triple H, I'm calling BS on this genetic thing. 
anything. I think it was a combination of multiple illegal substance use, possibly even something unknown he took in Thailand that caused his acute event. There were some revealing comments at the end by his brother Saeed who said the whole Ziz thing, it got to him in the end and it was also part of the reason why he's passed away because it got too much for him. He felt a constant pressure to look good, look the part, be the character. He put pressure on his body and this is what happens. Anyway, what are your thoughts? What are your memories of Ziz and what do you think really happened? Do post your thoughts down below. Make sure to hit the like, subscribe and notifications button. Until next time, stay safe.